Hello, Lotus, and welcome back to the most informative Lotus channel on YouTube. And we've changed our name. We are now Auto Sugar. Roll the intro. <laughs> Installing a new car stereo in your Lotus may be the most fun you can have in your car at this time. So as they say in the Latin, CarPlay DM. Here in the States, the newest Lotus Elises and Exiges that we received go up to the 2011 model year, with most of the cars being from 2005 to 2008. And while you may remember 2005 to be a hell of a great year for music, with hits like Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson and Holla Back Girl by Gwen Stefani topping the charts, it wasn't the greatest year for car stereos. Bluetooth streaming? What's a Bluetooth? In fact, if your car was built before 2007, the very first iPhone hadn't even been released yet. It was a very dark time for people from the future who traveled back to 2007 and had no Bluetooth. So lately I've been looking for a new car stereo to install in my Elise that would allow me to have Bluetooth streaming and a better way to view my maps. The unit we're installing today is a single DIN unit and it does not have a large touch screen as part of its design. I know there are a few units from Sony and Alpine that do have large touch screens that are adjustable, but they still end up blocking some of the air vents and some of the HVAC controls. Personally, however, I just don't think that a large touch screen suits the Lotus Elise interior. The only implementation that really looks good is from the original Tesla Roadster, but getting the parts to do that installation is really pretty tricky and it requires a bit more reworking of the dash than I'm personally interested in doing. The unit we're installing is the Pioneer SPH-10BT. I think it fits really well with the Lotus philosophy. It's both a car stereo and a cell phone holder in one unit. If that doesn't jive with the Lotus ethos of simplify and add lightness, well, I don't know what does. It's also quirky. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay. It doesn't have Android Auto. It has its own custom app from Pioneer, which according to reviews, works reasonably well sometimes and other times not at all. Perfect for a Lotus. I like this unit because it will allow me to use my phone for naps and hold it in a place where I can see it, and it will also let me stream my favorite new albums, such as Fun With Junk by Power Slut. And when I don't need a mapping screen, the cell phone holder folds right back into the head unit. And to me, sticking with a single DIN unit without a lot of distractions and a very clean design really suits this interior. So let's get started. The first thing that you will likely need to do is install a wiring harness to your new head unit, regardless of which brand you go with, so that you can adapt the new stereo to the existing wiring harness inside the Elise. So let's hop over to my workshop and I'll show you how to wire up one of these adapters. 